Hi folks, quick disclaimer about today's vlog. Jake and I had a couple corporate events and we never left the hotel, hence the content of travel. Secondly, we know that we haven't been consistent with daily vlogs. Mitch, my cousin, if you're watching, thanks for asking. We're, we're back at it, up until Christmas, which we go on both Jake and I go on Christmas vacation starting Saturday, and then we're gonna bring you a really cool road trip happening for New Year's, so stand by for that. Good morning. Good morning. Here, can you hold this? Yeah. Let's make sure I remember all my stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, opposite of what we normally do, Jake left the mic on all night by accident. So now it's dead. <laughs> but like, at least it was on. Hey, shut up. <laughs> that wasn't a dig, that was a good job. Kept the mic on. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to the airport. Again. <laughs> So, Jake and I just had a conversation about the iron and the ironing board in hotel rooms. I left mine out. I always leave it out. Yeah. Is that bad? I, I don't think it's bad because I usually leave mine out too because usually the iron is way up high so the work that it took me to get it from up high, I'm not going to put it back up there. Yeah, same. Yeah. So, and that's fair. So I put mine back today. But then we were saying... I put my iron. I, Cause Spencer had to move his because it was in the way, but I put mine right next to the window. I like moved the chair, put it next to the window. Cause I like to look out at the world when I'm ironing. I just do it the night before and I don't care about the world in that moment. <laughs> I care about the world every other moment, but not that one. Airport, airport. Going through security, we need some security. We might not. But like, where are we gonna eat though? I don't know, look at all the choices. So, I have a question, slash, I wanna spill some tea here. Why are you so loud, sir? You don't need tea, Al? So, it's been our experience that no airport has great breakfast. I don't understand. It's garbage. Yeah. It's all garbage. Yeah. Breakfast is not something that you can easily screw up. But apparently you can, because... <laughs> Literally the easiest meal to cook ever. Yeah. Just eggs, home fries, Yeah. those shredded potato things that you like. Yeah. Today we, we each had an omelet that was supposed to be, you know, ham and peppers and, and onions and cheese. First of all, didn't put the cheese in. Second, the ham looked like it was diced by Keebler elves. <laughs> along with the peppers and onions. <laughs> and then the potatoes were, for you Canadians, because we're in, we're in Nashville right now, the potatoes were like the potatoes you get at Tim Hortons. They were like hash brown patties that weren't cooked all the way. Airports, how can we help you get better breakfast? Because that would be nice. Airplane, airplane. Oh yeah, going home. Time to fly the plane. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't make this up. I saw this on Facebook last night, but I just asked Spencer. There's two brothers. The older brother is four, and the younger brother is half his age. When the older brother is 100, how old will the younger brother be? The older brother. What was your answer? Well, wait, let's what break, was your first let's break it. I'll still give you the same answer. Let's break it down. The older okay. brother is four, yep. and the younger brother is half his age. Half his age. So that would make the younger brother two. That's right. So when the older brother is 100, how old will the younger brother be? Well, in my mind, half of a hundred is fifty. Right. So, Are you sticking with that answer? Listen, I don't know. I, you laughed. I feel bullied. I don't know what the okay, right answer is. Okay. So listen, the older brother's four. I, yes. The younger brother is half of his age right now. When the older brother's a hundred, how old will the younger brother be? <laughs> I know there's some vital piece of information that I'm missing and that you're just going to continue to taunt me until I <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> so you said... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for exposing my math weakness to the entire world. Okay, the older brother's four. Right. The younger brother is half of his age. Right. Today. Oh, today. When the older brother is a hundred, how old will the younger brother be? Is the older brother four today as well? What? You just said <laughs> the older brother is four, the younger brother is half his age today. Yeah, so 
So today, the older brother's four, and the younger brother is half his age. When the older brother is a hundred, how old will the younger brother be? I'm not playing this game. <laughs> What's the answer? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Oh, right, because he's only two years younger. I need to get this for you. How does somebody have two kids fifty years apart? Take your seat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Did you get that right away? Yeah. Are you lying? Well, I was like watching a YouTube video of someone not understanding how it works, and I yeah. was really hoping you'd react the same way. <laughs> I'm really glad that you did. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wasn't that rich? What? Two seconds after you made fun of me, this guy gets an email saying, I'll meet you tomorrow. We're going to, to a party tonight for a friend, and it said meet you tomorrow. But this guy oh, okay. chooses to not read the whole message. He's like, I thought it was, thought it was not tomorrow. I thought it was today. And then you scroll down, and it was today. And he looked at me and he was like, I was so confused. <laughs> Welcome to what just happened to me. Okay, we made it to the next flight. We did. We're almost home. We're in Detroit, Rock City. There's a new process when you go through customs here in Canada where you have to fill out all your stuff on the electronic machine and then they take a photo of you. And normal, normally the photo doesn't work for me because I'm too short, but these cameras actually had, um, oh, these cameras actually went to my level and so I took a great photo. Hang on, Look at it. let me turn this. Let me zoom in. Good one, buddy. Yeah. Jake, <laughs> let's see your photo. Mine is not as nearly as good. <laughs> this one's mine. Mine's very serious. Like, I wanted to get through customs. Yeah. Yours was like, please send me back. Yeah. <laughs> Your, yours was, please send you back, yes. So, we got to the customs agent, and Jake was like, yeah, your photo's stupid. And then we got the customs agent, and she was like, it's a great photo. What'd she say about yours? Not as good. She said he didn't even try. <laughs> but now I know for next time. Winner! <laughs> We're back in the city. Jake went up to change his clothes and put on some fresh deodorant. Needed. Just kidding. And next, we're going to go to the grocery store to pick up some food because we're going to a holiday party with some of our Wee Day friends. Isn't that so nice? Should be fun. But we're not sure what we're going to get because it's a potluck and we told them we'd get a supermarket surprise. And I usually like to get a nice shrimp platter, but someone's already bringing that. So we got to figure out something else. Let's go to the grocery store. Oh yeah, groceries, yeah. And then it's off to Jake's house, not Jake Clement. Off to Jake. Okay, so we got the most important part. Anyone from Ontario will know what this bag is. Exactly. And now we're at the grocery store. Again, yeah. baguettes too. Okay. And a dip. Yeah. And hopefully Jake has some sort of cutting device. Or we'll get two dips. We'll get the oh, artichoke we'll oh, and the spinach. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, hold this. Okay. It's recording. Okay. Get that bread, yeah. Get it. <laughs> All the dips. Okay, you got the two dips. I do. You got the breads. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. Man. In this moment, we are. We've got our drink, and we've got our foods. That's right. And now we are headed to our friend Jake's house for a delightful holiday party. And then maybe the Christmas market and the distillery. What a lovely evening. So, thanks folks. You don't get to come to the party. You didn't Sorry. RSVP. Sorry. Had you RSVP'd, we would more than gladly bring you. But next time, okay? As always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Happy holidays! Bye-bye. <laughs>